Hi everybody, Salty Stark here. Today we'll be making a video on the Dark Orbos expedition, mainly because our opposition has one and I can't have you guys falling for the false teachings. So, without further ado, let's get into it. I typically just run Calia, Bernard, and then normally Sekhmet, but I feel like pretty much Helia and Bernard can do most of the like work anyways, so I think, you know, you can pretty much throw anything in there. So let's see how true that theory is. We're gonna run the light staff, that way we can get optimized damage as much as possible. So. And then we're gonna make sure that Helia is only using her skill, her uh, skill two. But as you can see, everything just kind of ripping apart. And just like that, the boss is already just ripped through. So, we got a look. There's nothing too fancy about these monsters either. Um, the, the Bernard and the Smokey are used in my seal content. And that's why I have them. Smokey is only you know, A5 with max skill ups, but the rank quality wise, nothing special there. That's pretty much like no crit rate, just focused on accuracy and survivability. And then my Bernard, max skill ups as well, only A9. But this is literally the runes he has, so he doesn't even have another Swift rune. And the rune structure for this monster needs to be completely changed, anyways. But as you can see, um, Dark Barbos is pretty easy. Things you wanna, if you're a newer player, the things you wanna look out for is if we go look at his stats. Kind of wanna look out for this passive. Um, basically, if it does damage to anything that doesn't have a beneficial effect on it, it first will remove its or any harm or all harmful effects on it. And then the second attack, it'll increase its attack speed damage out of precision by three, and then six, and then nine. And it actually takes more damage from just basic attacks than actual skills, so it's very important to weave in autos and you prioritize trying to use monsters that are more auto attack focused. So, but that's pretty much it. Um, as per usual, we, like I said, we're making this video because we can't have you guys, uh, learning the false teachings from this Baker's Good Guy. Um, so, here we are. Make sure to, uh, give his video a look-see, though. And while you're there, give it a like. And, uh, make sure to put Baker's Bad or Down with Baker's in the comment. And we're currently trying to race him to 50 subscribers so if you enjoy the content and you want me to win the race um please give the video uh give the video a like and please consider subscribing thank you